Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Um, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Day. I'm so lucky I get to spend tonight with my true love, this audience right here. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's the night. All right. <laughs> Wear something loose. But by now, I'm sure you've all heard the news. The Trump administration is going great. <laughs> We're really getting tired of winning. Uh, I'll tell you who got super tired of winning. Former National Security Advisor and man who doesn't see what's so damn funny, Michael Flynn. <laughs> Because he resigned last night. Not because of a scandal. He just wanted to spend more time with his Russian contacts. <laughs> but uh, Flynn leaves behind a distinguished legacy of the shortest tenure in history with only 24 days as National Security <laughs> Advisor. Yeah. Just... <laughs> and just like that, he's gone. Flynn surpassed the record formerly held by Gerald Ford security advisor, Admiral Joseph T. Fruitfly. <laughs> Here's what happened. Um, after Barack Obama imposed sanctions on Russia for messing with our election, Flynn called the Russian ambassador, discussed the sanctions, and allegedly signaled the Kremlin to expect a reprieve when Trump took office. And if that wasn't signal enough, they got the hint when Trump signed his first executive order. <laughs> now, very sweet. That's very sweet. Really we need nice. a buddy. Yeah. Now, at first, Flynn denied all of this. But he got caught because, turns out, we listen in on every phone call to the Russian ambassador. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Evidently not the national security advisor, you <laughs> dummy. <laughs> dummy, dummy. <laughs> That. Yeah. I knew that. After it was revealed there were recordings of his conversation, Flint went from absolutely not to he couldn't be certain that the topic never came up. <laughs> I know one way you could be certain. As the National Security Advisor, you could ask for the transcript. Could I, could I see that, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I should really not have this job. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's funny because it's treason. <laughs> Flynn, um... As they say... Treason! They say only treason is funny. Yeah. Just Flynn even lied to Vice President Mike Pence, who defended Flynn on TV, and now Pence is pissed. You can tell by his cold, hollow-eyed stare, <laughs> which is also how you can tell that he's happy, in love, or just hungry. The crazy part is that the White House has known the National Security Advisor lied about his contacts with Russia for weeks. Last month, former Acting Attorney General Sally Yates told the Trump administration she believed Flynn had misled senior administration officials and might be vulnerable to Russian blackmail. Trump did nothing about it. But then again, President, he's very busy attacking Nordstrom's Arnold Schwarzenegger's ratings, and then firing Sally Yates. A lot to do. Got, got to do a lot. Yeah. But now, Flynn is gone, and everyone's speculating who's going to replace him. One top candidate is General David Petraeus, who is a proven leader. You got to give him, he's a proven leader and historic, because it would be the first national security advisor who had to check with his probation officer. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bill, is it okay if I take a job in Washington? Dave, have you been doing drugs? No, no, I've been clean, I swear. Any weapons? Well, I'm about to be in the nuclear chain of command. Dave, we talked about this. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, Trump will most likely give the job to General Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir... <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Good guy. Solid guy. Here's a solid guy. Here's a really super guy. Of course, this is a major betrayal of trust, and Donald Trump immediately condemned both Flynn and the Russians. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he tweeted, 
the real story here is why are there so many leaks coming out of Washington? Will these leaks be happening as ideal on North Korea, etc.? No, there will not be any leaks on North Korea unless your high security meeting was infiltrated by secret agent Mar a Lago Busboy. <laughs> now, today, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer spice splained <laughs> why the president was forced to let Flynn go. We got to a point not based on a legal issue, but based on a trust issue, the evolving and eroding level of trust as a result of this situation and a series of other questionable instances is what led the president to ask for General Flynn's resignation. Yes, it wasn't a legal issue. It was a trust issue. Trump stopped trusting Flynn because Flynn did something that was so darn legal that Trump had to ask for his resignation. <laughs> Say what you will about Sean Spicer, but he is the MC Escher of bull****. Just... Uh -huh. That goes like this, and that goes like that, like that, and it's like, like that. Forgive me, Mr. Spicer, I'm sorry, you were saying something insane? The irony of this entire situation is that the president has been incredibly tough on Russia. Oh, yes, Trump has been incredibly tough on Russia. No, he has been incredibly tough. I mean, the hotel dry cleaning bills alone. <laughs> incredibly tough. <laughs> Gotta flip the mattress. Now, Trump's... Trump's uh, looking to fill a lot of jobs in his administration. The Monster.com listing asks for dedicated public servants who don't look anything like Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> and the rumor has it that his pick for ambassador to Austria is concert pianist, industrialist, Trump supporter, and friendly grocer with a dark secret, <laughs> Patrick Park. Ambassador to Austria is Park's dream job. Why? Because he's an expert in the history and customs, and hopes to strengthen America's friendship with the European Union. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's because he's obsessed with the sound of music. <laughs> they say he has seen it 75 times. <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of crazy. That's not how this works. Is this how this works now? Yeah, yeah. I've seen The Lord of the Rings 50 times. Does that make me ambassador to Gondor? <laughs> I would take it. I would take the gig. I'm Thorngill. But Park's uh, probably going to get the Austria gig. The only other person on Trump's staff who knows more about the sound of music is Steve Bannon. But Bannon roots for the Nazis. <laughs> We got a great show for you tonight. Christine Moransky is here. Plus, I sit down with a group of kids and we write a movie. But when we return,